Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Well, we saw this agree to disagree thing going around and I was like, we have to do this. So yeah, let's let's give it a go. <laughs> let's go, yeah, on to trends. Agree to disagree, couples, married couples edition. Jasmine starts more arguments. <laughs> <laughs> starts. <laughs> I go in there and agree. I'm gonna... Say okay, agree. Okay, fine. Here, yeah. agree. I won't strongly agree. I suggest so because it's the feminine naturally with emotions. I think emotions can bring up emotional needs. So for you, I think our, our primary thing is you may feel a bit more irritable, of Arguments which, of like, which we I heal. I think we mean like, like bickering, um, what do you call it? You're just like our bickers and oh. squabbling, right? Yeah. That's like our arguments, isn't Cause it? Because I guess we're both a little bit stubborn, but I feel like you're more stubborn, so I fixed in I your just... way, you, the way you want things, making it, making me have it to bend, think, bend down. Well, uh, excuse me. I think I like voice it a bit more if I need something. You, you will tend to hold it in more. I hold it in. I'm more yeah. internalizing. You like your way of being, you know kitchen needs to be a certain way although you should see jazz in the kitchen got some funky habits man <laughs> now you're starting an argument or maybe it's Using not agree plastic labels into the an frying pan <laughs> we should have way <laughs> we should have waited <laughs> it's like an s we should have waited to meet our families before getting married oh i say strongly disagree Wait, I'll we go. should wait. We should have waited. We, we so, okay, should so have we waited. Didn't an, wait, we didn't we wait. Should have waited. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm highly on a strongly I'm disagree. Go there, there, yeah. It's up to you. you. You're not defined by family systems of what you want, um, and I think your love is created through your bond rather than be defined by parents. I feel like you don't need your family to be involved in your relationship. Like at the end of the day, it is your relationship between you and your partner and you don't need yeah. the family, I think, to make a relationship work. Because mm. we met at the very beginning, just before Rona started. So yeah. we didn't even, we couldn't meet our families. We fell in love without the validation of our parents. They yeah. approved for it and that's why they're beautiful parents too, because they let us get on with it and be yeah. independent. We are really compatible for each other. Yeah. There it is. Ooh! There. You want me now? <laughs> oh, whoa! <laughs> why did you whoa. do that? Your hand glitched. What? You went a bit... you, you got to go a bit further, my you, love. What did, why? Okay, you explain. I think we're quite... Mir we're mirrors to each other. I think we uh, compensate for what we have in weakness. So, for example, very basic, you know, I'm more extroverted pull you out into more social situations. You're more introverted, help me go back in within and do more journaling to get my answers. But but then in our differences, we expand each other, meaning that we're compatible. Okay, so that's how you, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And while we, yeah. we align to the same values, have the same sort of purpose. Anyway, you, mm. yeah. you go ahead. Yeah, I mean, we are so compatible. So what, what, what makes you not strongly agree? Let's go okay, for that. what makes me not strongly agree is because we have our differences. No, so what's actually, the biggest I difference? What's the biggest difference that feels like a little nag, a little itch to the scratch? Um, well, we are very <laughs> different people. <laughs> but, but, like, I feel like our... Okay, this is how I see it. We're very different people, but our souls are very energetically aligned. That's I, I think that's different. Like, I... We're, we're compatible, yeah, but, um, yeah, we are, no but. <laughs> yeah, but, no but. <laughs> I don't know nothing about nothing. <laughs> well, I think okay, the most important thing is that we have similar values. I'm ready to be a parent. Oh. <laughs> this is, this is Jazz's idea here. I didn't answer the question that I wrote it, but I you didn't answer them. it. I didn't answer it. I'm going to go there. Oh, we're different, there. we're different, we're different. Okay, okay. okay oh. well, we've had, like, conversations, of course, about it, and we do... We both want to be parents one day yes, and have yeah. children. I put slightly on the more agree side. It's not like strongly agree, mm -hmm. but like more on the agree side because I I have, well, you know, my body is like, I want to make a baby, but I do yeah. feel my body. And I have these maternal instincts and like, there's so many babies here in Thailand. Yeah, Thailand and I get like baby fever, especially yesterday. I say agree because I think if... We're not planning to, but if it did happen unexpectedly, I think I would adapt really well to it. That's why I say that. Yes. But then not strongly agree because we're not planning to now because I want to 
live more of my purpose, like focus on my business right now in this phase of life. But you wouldn't mind it happening if it was like an accident? Uh, uh, yeah, an accident. Quote unquote yeah, accident. Yeah. Me disagree a little bit, as you said at the end, where I, I feel like I would like to do a bit more inner work um, to be the best parent I possibly can. Um, I want to be in a really secure, stable place with my career. So mm. that's the ultimate reason why. But we presume no longer than five years. <laughs> there we go. At least I've got scope for jazz. That's how we sort of like uh, came to a compromise with this. Because I'm not like we have to right now. And I want us both to be ready. That's really mm. important for me that we, we're both, not just one of us, but both ready for it. Social media is fake. That's a beast. I like that. That's, that's, that's huge. I would suggest... There's many ways you can interpret this. Yeah. Is it for you? Is it for I in general? It. Is it like... I get there. How that's do you me. interpret it? Like in general. In general. In general. Not just us. In general. Yeah, we can see our perception of it. Right, I'm going to go there then. I'm going to go there. In the middle? Okay, I'd say agree. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we're both on that space. Like a bit more than agree. I mean, it is just a highlights compilation. Like at the end of the day, we all choose what we're going to post on social media. Yeah. And like, I do my best to be like in integrity. I am in yeah. integrity, but like, it's not like if I'm crying or having a down day, I feel like pulling out my phone and recording myself. Like that's the last thing anyone feels like doing. I like to see it as a positive space. Like mm -hmm. I, I told you the other day, like I'm very grateful it exists because we mm -hmm. wouldn't be doing what we do without it. Because cool. I think like, as long as you're contributing to social media being a good place, that's mm -hmm. a beautiful thing. I'm going to be the ethical bug okay. here. <laughs> <laughs> If used with responsibility, it's a great thing. <laughs> if used with the right intent. So I think yeah. it's intentional, subjective to the person using it. Yeah. Social media ha can have corporate interest. As, you, as we do the work on ourselves all the time, we always sort of see, are we performing or are we being our true self? It's yeah. as simple as that. Yeah. I think also discernment is key because yeah. like, okay, let's say like, I, I like to think that we are real on social media and we are, like, we yeah. share our relationship as it is, but it's not like if we're mid-argument, we're going to pull out a phone and record yeah. it. Like, yeah. we just, like, no one does that. So yeah. practice discernment as the viewer on social media, like, you know, you're not going to see 24-7 things. But you don't, as a creator on social media, you don't owe anyone anything either. Mm. It's just being you and if, transparent. Yeah, and if you've got a whole heart naturally and you're yeah. more empathic and, yeah. and, and a nice person you probably don't need to hear the fact that you need to overthink what you post no, no, because no, no, no. and that's what you've taught me is like well we're the, probably the most caring individuals we know so who who the heck should we overanalyze every fucking post we make whereas some people need to probably do tailor it in and not be so objective with their audience and, holy moly soulmates are real um yeah, go there. Yeah. <laughs> Strongly agree. I believe that you can have many soulmates, not just with the opposite gender, but with like same gender. You can have friendship soulmates and you can mm. have romantic soulmates or one, whatever you think. How did you know I was a soulmate? Feeling mm. energetically, we just really got on with each other and yeah. just felt like effortless in a way. Yeah. Especially at the start. I mean, obviously, honeymoon phase. And now, you know, three years on, I still think that because just, just... And then you, then you say we're not compatible. Soul, Should we, we, can we rewind to the first question? I didn't know, that was just an intuitive thing. Okay? I still said agree. I think your, navigate, your emotional navigation system will tell you. Yeah. But I think if we're looking at it at the term of like the one for the rest of your life, soulmate, um, I agree. Yeah, I think it's the person who is going to challenge you and make you feel at peace all simultaneously um, and encourage your growth. Yeah. And love you through to the core and help you shed the bloody layers and conditioning that you've lived through. That's another thing. Like I've reflected because we had our anniversary recently and I was like, in the past three years, I really feel like I've become like more and more of the best version of myself. Mm. So it, that so, was also mm. a sign to me. Like, yeah, yeah you're my soulmate. So, soulmates embrace change with you. The path ahead. I'm too keen. <laughs> I, I've considered divorce. <laughs> <laughs> considered divorce? Yeah. <laughs> You're saying you're yeah, the anxious attached but, one. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, I'll explain. This is, this, look, hey, this is my interpretation of the question, okay? Cut. <laughs> let me, we, we need to have a chat. <laughs> let me explain. Look, let me, let me explain it. Like, just let me explain. I put it slightly on the agree because, okay? Because. Yeah. Because of my history and background of anxious attachment so this like, is self-sabotage yeah it's sabotage it's Got not it. like it, okay 
let me just put it this way. It's not like I've thought to myself, I don't have divorce you. Like, no, I don't see us getting divorced. But it's more the thought that comes into my head sometimes. Oh. If like, if we have an argument or a fight or even a little squabble and like things are a bit hard, I'm just like, what if we were divorced? Like, is this going to lead to divorce? Like, that comes into my head. Oh, okay, okay. As, a, as a worry, as a... As a worry, as, as a, a worry. sabotage, as a, like... Oh. Like, what, what if we get... Are we going to get divorced now? Because, like, we're not, you know, talking for half an hour. <laughs> I see. I've had that, yeah, many times. That's why. Do you see now? Oh, it's an irrational story, not a rational one you were consciously ready to do. No, yeah, exactly. Wow, oh, we covered that ground then. (laughs) I told you to wait for my explanation. Strongly disagree for the reason that, you know, even though we have conflicts, we have our, you know, um, arguments are just like, like, it's a great question we just had before. I believe you're my soulmate, so whatever it takes, we'll figure it out. Um... Um, and just that our, you know, our current stage in our relationship, three years in, I don't see any any signs of needing to be divorced. So, so you've never reassurance. even thought it. You've never even no, thought it. No, no. Even when we have squabbles. Because there's a pact of morality on this ring here as well. It's like, well, okay, we're we're children of God, not to get too Christian or whatever, but you know, I'm, I'm true to my word, and uh, I'm in for it. You're something we're fighting for, my love. But you've never had those thoughts. No. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Okay, next one. <laughs> Marriage is hard. Oh my gosh, what a... Um, right. Slightly agree, yeah. I say disagree. Mm-hmm. I go disagree. Sorry, okay. we're, quite, okay. we're quite polar on so, this. Well, okay, what's been hard for me that I've had to learn, which is getting easier? I think overall, it's great, it is. But what I've had to learn is that it's normal to fight, it's normal to argue. Like, Because yeah. in like the previous question, like if we had any little bit of a squabble or an argument, then I'd think, oh my God, this is over. Like, this is over. (laughs) And I didn't think that was... I thought fighting meant you're not compatible. That, you know... So I I had to reprogram a lot, learn a lot, and heal a lot in that way. And sometimes it's still hard, like, because when your trauma brain is activated, it can be challenging to come back into your center, heal that trigger. So Mm. that can be tricky, but that's something I'm actively working through, and you've helped me a lot with that. And also, like, there is a lot of compromise. Like, I think when you get out of that honeymoon phase and you get into, like, you know, (laughs) you know what I mean? Like, you need to, like, I think loving... The other is a choice you actively make every day as well. You know, in our honeymoon phase, I loved you because, like, you're so handsome. Like, oh, he's riding me on his bike. Like, you know? Yeah. And that's great. That's still true. And when you you get married and things like that, time goes on, it's like, I choose to love you even when you fart loudly, even when you're not your best self, even when you get angry. Like, I still choose to love you. Yeah. Because I guess the the chemistry is gone, isn't it? Like, chemistry... (laughs) No, no, no. no. (laughs) Chemistry takes effort as time moves on. Yeah. Yeah. I I feel like, like... Yes. When it's, it's honeymoon period for a reason because there's yes. lots of pair bonding hormones mm. getting involved. Oxytocin, mm-hmm. me vesopressin, as they call it. Mm-hmm. You know, of course, you're sexually pretty active at the beginning. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. oh, that's just being true. <laughs> but, you know, so, so it takes an active effort where we're at now, of course. Yeah. I would disagree that it's hard because I feel like marriage has actually added lots of value. I think it's put uh, horse blinkers on, focus on your career, mm-hmm. focus on the relationship at hand. Mm-hmm. And because you're a healthy relate, relater, you're a good person and you want the best for me and you're helping me carve my best self as I am actively as well. It's a very healthy relationship as defined by research. You've helped create order to a chaotic realm once was mm. before you came into my life. Mm. Being friends with the opposite sex is wrong in a marriage. I would just stay Wait, where I'm at. Is wrong. Wait, is wrong. Wait. It's wrong. It's in wrong a, It's wrong in a marriage. Be, oh, okay. Here yeah, then. It depends on the dynamic, doesn't yeah, it? Of like, course, yeah. if you're like best, best, best friends with yeah. another feeling, like, yeah, or, or me. Like, no, I told you this the other day, yeah. I was like, yeah, no, that would feel weird if I was best friends with another guy. Like, yeah, it would I, feel I don't, weird. that doesn't feel right to me. But yeah, there's limits, I think. Colleagues yeah, are great, depends, you know, yeah. you're, that's otherwise controlling and toxic if yeah. you box me up. Yeah. But if I'm secretly going on coffee dates as a, with a friend and having more fun with that friend than I am you, there's a problem yeah. because I've found a source yeah. for fulfillment outside of the relationship. Yeah. Josh initi- <laughs> Josh initiates <laughs> intimacy more than Jasmine. Well, intimacy, like yeah, different sex or just like hugging, like in general. <laughs> Keeping it PG. <laughs> you like physical touch. Physical, physical touch. touch. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'd go there. Yeah, I'd go there. Stay where I'm Actually, at. Actually, no, I'm not going in the middle. I'm yeah, like, yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd say, I'd say that. different. Like, if it's, like, just, like, hugs and, like, that sort of affection, I think I tend to do it more. But when it's, like, you know, 
the new initiator. The deed. <laughs> the new initiator a bit more. <laughs> well, I think your sensitive nature naturally creates more bids for my affection. So I think in doing that, you are quite proactive in seeking intimacy. Whereas I probably don't bid as often. In general, you think I initiate intimacy more than you. In general. Yeah, I guess in, in yes, in general. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I put a neutral, yeah. You know, I do lots of acts of service. I buy you flowers, I give you yeah. notes, you know, <laughs> I, you know, book dates, stuff yeah. like that. So, yeah. it, you know, I'm doing my bit. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Just, to, just to defend yourself. Yeah. Okay, last Final question. One. We got married too fast. Okay. Oops. Too fast. So we got married within that's... one year, one year of being together. Okay, I'd suggest um, let's stay there and stay here. Yeah, disagree. I wouldn't say Not strongly. strongly but let's say why we didn't say strongly. I was 24, you about 21, right? 22. 22, yeah. So we're young, we're young. We're still finding ourselves out. Then again, you miss up a great opportunity if you don't just go for it and at least test it. You know, what's the worst that can happen? Oh, yeah. fast? Like one oh, year right. is, I think, I know people who've gotten married like really, used to, like I don't think there's such thing as too fast, too long. Like yeah. everyone is different. Every pair is different. For us, I don't think it was too fast for no. who we are. Well, I think it was just right. I think mm. it was perfect for us. For us. I do think 22 is pretty young. Mm, it is in our <laughs> modern day society. <laughs> I think that's pretty young, but um, I'm glad, you know, I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I felt safe with young marriage because we had it modeled from both our parents. So we both felt safe with that from our yeah, family of origin. Both, yeah. And also, I mean, can't lie, like we got married during Rona and mm. we were like, you know, uh, you know, that could... <laughs> It That's could, such a cool way to say the bloody thing. Yeah, Rona. Rona. It's an ugly way of saying it. Because, you know, it, it was so, it was like very uncertain in that time. It was so uncertain. And so mm. we were like, well, another benefit of getting married is we will stay together. Because I, I, I was having these like reoccurring mm. frequent nightmares during that time of us being separated. Like, do you remember? I had those yeah. dreams a lot. And so, like, marriage wasn't the solution to it. It wasn't just for that. But I can't lie, it was it was a benefit to getting yeah. married as well. You kept asking about proposing a marriage in a way you were sort of bringing it up in sly conversations at times, in a nicer way. It wasn't like, you know, being <laughs> an evil witch trying to get me to I seduce me. me. I forced you. My precious. To the ring, to the ring. Oh, wow. <laughs> but I, yeah. I asked, you know what? But, I asked for it. You know what? Let's just put that out there. I talked about it i initiated it. i asked for it why not i think that yeah. as women we, you can be far yeah. too like let the man lead like you know he'll decide you know whenever he's ready but Clarity i think helps. fuck that like yeah you both have to be ready but like fucking tell him like if you want to get engaged to so just ask him yeah. <laughs> tell him hey i like this ring like just do it <laughs> men need direction too it's not yeah. that we're just the sales for exactly. everything and we need to be potently provided and give us some scope if we know that mission is your ring we're going to be like, cool, we're not going to spend energy elsewhere. Exactly. Penetrate like, that mission. Let him know. For, yeah. Well, getting married sooner is great in a way for me yeah. because it accelerated me growing into a man. I think that's it, isn't it? Do you want to add anything else? I think that's it. Well, uh, let us know in the comments if you like this style because we can do another round if, we if can. you liked it. Or any other sort of trendy videos you've seen done and we can cover it that's in our fun. own way. Yes. Sprinkle some JJ magic on it. And uh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to our latest <laughs> podcast. Every, every little vocal mistake I make, Jazz is on it. Rate me, lover. Subscribe to our You Me Loving Me podcast where we do this you, stuff you in detail. You Me Loving We. <laughs> you Me Loving Me. <laughs> so we have a podcast, yeah? Yes. <laughs> link please in do. the link in the bio. No, bio. The show. No, not the show notes. The, the description. <laughs> <laughs> it's our five in Thailand right now. The sun's setting. Our circadian rhythms are failing us. Oh, oh, and subscribe. <laughs> the sloth. The sloth, yeah. <laughs> Zootopia. Okay. Please like, subscribe, share with a mate. We'd love to hear it. We'll see you in the next one. See you in the next one.